Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simply scale and resize video clips and images inside of Premiere Pro. So I'll uh, just lay this out for you. First, I'm going to show you how to do it just super quick. Um, then I'm going to show you a couple different scenarios uh, for maybe why you might want to do this resizing or scaling. Um, then I'm going to show you how to keyframe the scale so you can resize um, do your resizing over a period of time. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you the set to frame size feature inside of Premiere, which is a cool tip and might help you out in uh, certain situations. So let's get into it. Um, I have Premiere open, got my sequence open. I'm in a 1080 sequence. I have a 1080 clip, doesn't really matter if you just wanna see how to do this. Click on your clip, select it. The effect control panel should pop up. If it doesn't, uh, go under um, window, go find effect controls. And then in here, inside of effect controls, find the scale property. Uh, and then uh, you see this number 100, you can either click in it and slide to the left or to the right, uh, or you can click, click in it and um, type in a number, a value, so 80, that's 80%. Uh, if you want to go short, uh, smaller, if you want to go larger, click inside, type in 120. Anything over 100 is going to make it larger than the actual size of the clip uh, or the image, which will give you a little bit of pixelation depending on how big you get it. Um, so that's, that's the really quick, super simple how to do this. Uh, I'm just going to reset this back to 100. All right, cool. If you just wanted that, get on out of here, otherwise hang out and uh, we'll go into a little bit more depth. Okay, so, um, okay, scenarios. I have this 1080 sequence and uh, we have our 1080 footage, so generally you're not gonna wanna resize this. Um, so we'll just leave that alone. I'm gonna scrub through my timeline. Here we go, I have this image, uh, it's 720, so uh, if I wanna make that the frame size, or if I want to make it larger, um, like I showed you a minute ago, go ahead, select it, uh, effect control should pop up, and then you can click, and then drag left or right, and uh, a 720 image in a 1080 frame, it'll be at 150%, and then you'll get there, you know, perfectly. Um, you'll match up, and again, you'll get a little bit pixelated. Uh, scrolling over to my next uh, clip, or it's, it's an image, it's a random large image, it's uh, a weird size. Um, so for this one, if uh, it's too big for the frame, so what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to take the scale value, make sure it's under 100, and I can click and keep dragging until it gets small enough, and then um, I can click inside of it and then tip in case uh, you know you didn't leave you're getting this bonus tip. Use the uh, up and down arrows to make this larger or smaller. And then if you hold down the command or control key, uh, you'll move it by 0.1 instead of just one. And then if you hold down the shift key, you'll move that value by 10. So a bonus tip if you stuck around. Okay, so now we're over in our 720 sequence, uh, and we have our clip here that's 1080. And uh, if let's say we want to change this over a period of time, so we need to set some keyframes on the scale property. Go ahead, select your clip, uh, and then find scale. And to set your first keyframe, uh, go ahead, click the stopwatch next to the word scale, and then uh, we'll scrub over further down uh, inside the clip and we'll change the scale property. Uh, and let's just change this to zero, going all the way down so it shrinks all the way down to nothing so we can really see this in our example. So now when I scrub through, you'll see the clip gets smaller, 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 all the way to zero. Boom, and then it's done. And just like, you know, other keyframes in, Af in uh, Premiere, you can go ahead and drag them, move them around if you want, uh, set other keyframes. So right now I go, uh, now I'm going from zero to 100. And if I want in the middle here, if I want to jump it up to 200, and again, you'd probably never do this in a video, but this is just for an example. So now I'm going from zero to 200 down to 100. And I'll just scrub through my timeline. You'll see, zoom all the way in, and then it zooms back out to normal. Okay, so that's how to set a scale over a period of time. And lastly, uh, let's just go ahead and undo all that, put this all the way back to normal. Okay, so our clip's back at 100. Okay, so there's this cool thing in Premiere 
called set to frame size. Uh, and there's something not so cool called uh, scale to frame size. Um, I'm sure there's a reason to do uh, scale to frame size instead of set to frame size, and yes, it is confusing. So I have this 1080 clip in a 720 sequence. Uh, this actually happens a lot during my day job. Uh, our final product is in 720, but all of our footage is in 1080. So what, what we do is we uh, set a shortcut, uh, I do Shift S, uh, for set to frame size. And let me show you what that does. Uh, if you right click on a clip, and remember right now, 1080 footage, 720 sequence. So my scale is at 100 right now. I'm going to right click on my clip and then uh, we're going to find the set to frame size option. Okay, and remember we're at 100% before I click this. When I go ahead and click it, it moves me down to 66.7, which is, uh, which is uh, perfectly square inside of my um, 720 sequence. I'm going to undo that. And then uh, just to show you what you don't want to do normally, uh, right click it and then you would think oh I'm gonna want to use this scale to frame size option and you're gonna do it it's gonna look the same okay see it looks exactly the same as what we just did however the scale is at a hundred why don't we want that uh, so uh, let's say we do this we do some cuts later on and then we come back and we realize oh we you know since we had a little bit of wiggle room maybe we want to move the shot around a little bit in the frame uh, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, nudge it over, whatnot. Um, you know, there's this little thing in the corner here. So I'm just going to bump it up to, you know, 104. Now we're at 104. We're over 100, like I mentioned earlier. We're getting a little bit pixelated. If you're on a, you know, large screen or, you know, you get a really picky client with an eagle eye, they're going to notice that. So that's why you don't want to do scale to frame size. So just undo, undo, back to normal. Uh, go back. Let me right click, do uh, set to frame size. So all that did, it took my scale property and it adjusted it for the actual sequence. It didn't change the clip itself. So now if I'm gonna do that again and I wanna zoom in, one, two, you know, uh, I'm still at 68% of my original clip, which is well, you're, you're not gonna get any pixelation at 68% of your original clip. You only get it when you're above that 100 mark. So, um, kind of rambling on a little bit at this point, so I don't remember if I said that, uh, but what we do, um, or what I do at least, um, I go ahead and change my keyboard and I add a set to frame size for Shift S, and uh, so I'm laying in all my shots, all I do is highlight them, hit Shift S, and it does that uh, set to frame size automatically for me. So if I, you know, have uh, 1080 um, footage in a 720 sequence or 4K footage in a 1080 sequence or even 4K footage in a 720 sequence, whatever you're doing, um, it's going to uh, scale uh, your clip down to the frame size automatically while keeping all of the, all the pixel information in it, uh, unlike scale to frame size. I hope that made sense. Okay, uh, so to recap, uh, to change or resize any image or video uh, in your sequence, click it, find the scale property in effects controls, uh, click on the value, type in something, click on it, drag it left and right. Uh, if you want to set a keyframe and change it over time, click on the little stopwatch, move to another time, change the value, that'll get you your movement over time. Uh, and then lastly, set to frame size, don't use scale to frame uh, size. Yeah, if you know what that actually does, uh, if it actually does something, uh, let me know in the comments because uh, by all accounts, uh, I don't see a value in it. So set to frame size, not scale to frame size. I really hope you found this helpful. Uh, I know that when I was starting Premiere, this video would have really helped me out. So I hope it helped you out too. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And uh, yes, I'll see you around in the next video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and uh, listening to me still ramble. All right. Thanks, guys. See you around in the next video. Bye.